can hear me now? Okay, so busy morning. Hopefully this works. Good morning, Katie. Thank you for joining us. I'm sorry for all the issues I'm having this morning. Good morning, Kathy. Lucas, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry about that guys. I'm having some major audio issues and I think I need to just update my equipment here. Morning Chloe. Good morning. Ugh. Okay, let's let's try this again. <laughs> yes, technology is a lot of fun, Katie. Yes, it is. It is so much fun. Oh, yeah. There we go. Pin that to the top. Ah, oh, that'll really take the wind out of your sails, won't it? Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's try and reset, shall we? Uh, thank you so much, guys, for coming back. I'm sorry about all the audio issues. As I was saying before, my lapel um, mic died on me last week while I was recording my video. That's why we had some weird audio in the video and that's why I had to just do something completely different. And so I'm using the mic on my camera, but I had deleted all those settings out of the computer because I wasn't going to use it. And so now I'm having issues with it again this morning. <laughs> and it was my fault too because I forgot to unplug my hardwire connection and go with Wi-Fi. So... It's been a morning, <laughs> but I'm thankful, so grateful for you guys um, that you guys are here with me. Thank you so much. I thought I, I thought I saw a couple of new people pop in um, on the last chat. I hope that they'll be able to pop in again today. Good morning to them. I'm so sorry for the issues that I had. Um, it, it's kind of become the norm of the stream. <laughs> it usually takes two takes before we can get this thing going, um, and that's just because I'm still kind of learning. So good morning, Sylvia. Sylvia, I set up a new um, link for you. If you do exclamation point Sylvia in chat, it'll give you a link to her channel. Make sure you go check her out if you're not already. She's got a lot of stuff over there. Last week we were working on paper piecing and she is an expert at it. So make sure you go over there and talk to her because I am not an expert. Um, today we're going to be working on our mix and match. Uh, the Mix and Match pattern, which is a free pattern by Donna Jordan. I uh, put a link up at the top of the chat window for you guys if you want it. This is what the blocks look like. I've made two of them just so you guys can kind of see what they look like. And this is our goal for today. Um, so today we are on step three. Last time we were together, we sewed up our five inch squares. We took layer cakes, cut them up into the five inch charm pack. And now we've sewed up both sides on both sides of the charms. And now we're going to take two of each and we're going to slice them in half. We're going to slice a half an inch off the top and then slice them in half again. And we're going to iron them open so then that way we can slice them one more time. So that's why I don't have the machine out just yet. We're going to do about half of the slicing first. Um, layer, you know, um, iron them out here and then we'll go ahead and we'll slice the second one and sew it up right away so that we, our pieces don't uh, come undone. So let me hop into chat real quick and make sure I said hello to everybody that I think I have said hello to. If you guys are having any issues with audio or video or anything else, please let me know. I have a feeling this is going to be a fun stream, <laughs> but we're going to try our best. Um, okay, let me just check, make sure I've got everybody. So I said good morning to Sylvia. Good morning, Chloe. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Katie, good morning. Kathy, good morning. Lucas, Lucas is in the house. <laughs> Thank goodness. Lucas, if you were here, I know you'd be able to fix these issues for me. So I, w I, w I miss you. <laughs> so thank you for that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. How is everyone's week going? I have to tell you that the channel has seen so much growth this week. It is unbelievable. I don't know if you guys noticed. 
we're at 159 subscribers. We were at 133 when I talked to you guys last week. That is huge. I am so grateful to each and every single new subscriber. And if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for that. All right, so mix and match. Let's get going. Chloe says, now I now I just have to try FPP. That may be the pattern I start with. Oh, what pattern was that? I may have missed it. Oh, the Flamingo FPP. Oh, yeah, from Sylvia. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited. Speaking of FPP, I bought myself. I had so much fun last week, guys, with the, the um, Flying Geese paper PC that I bought another one. Let me show you real quick before we get started. I'm so distracted today. Look what I got. <laughs> I bought the log cabin one. Now I bought the 12 inch squares because it uses two and a half inch strips and I've got a bunch of jelly rolls coming here soon. So that'll give me something to do with those jelly rolls. So that's why I bought the 12 inch, but I'm really excited to start on that. It was so much fun. I finished all of those flying geese yesterday, put them all together. So now they look like Christmas trees. It's really fun. Um, so I'm working on that, but back, back to what we were doing. We we're working on mix and match here. <laughs> So the channel has seen huge growth. Thank you so much to each and every person that has subscribed and left comments. I love them. Thank you so much. I've tried to answer every single one as much as I can. Um, but please feel free. If I've missed one, point it out to me. Let me know. So the first thing we're doing is we're cutting off a half an inch off the top of each one of these. And Lucas has just noticed. Yes, yes. Yes, the log cabins look like they're going to be a lot of fun. I have, I don't know which uh, fabric I'm going to use just yet. Haven't gotten quite that far yet. I'm still waiting for my order from Soya to come in. But I know those guys are super busy, so I haven't really tried to bug them at all about it. But yeah. All right, so the other thing that we have to do is we have to cut this in half. So I need to figure out how to do this. Good morning, Sean. Thank you so much for joining me. Good luck to you on the quilts that you introduced to the quilt show in Virginia. If you have, if you didn't catch Sean's channel, if you do exclamation point Sean in chat, it'll give you a link to his channel. He's entered two of his quilts into um, a quilt show in Virginia. So good luck to him. I really hope he wins. Good morning. All right, so something's wrong here. I'm having all kinds of fun issues today, guys. First my audio, now my roll, my blade is not cutting. This is this is going to be a great day. I can tell already. <laughs> We're going to we are going to make this work, darn it. All right, so there's those two. Let me set these down here. So all I'm doing right now is I'm taking two pieces and I'm slicing them in half. So two and a half inches because these are five inch squares. I can't do math today. Uh, so these are five inch squares. So I'm cutting them at two and a half and then I'm also cutting off a half an inch off the top. Um, just following the pattern. This is what it told me to do. So that's what I'm doing. Good morning, Kelly. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hopefully all of our audio issues are done for the morning, but you never know. That's what keeps this interest, this channel so interesting. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> One, two and a half. Okay. Oops. Yes, good luck to Sean at the show. It's going to be really exciting. I'm really excited for him. I've never done anything like that, and I don't know that I will for a while because it's, it's, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I'm talented enough to be able to do something like that. Maybe someday. But good luck to him. Can't wait to see how that turns out. And um, if you are a follower, if you're not a follower of Sean's channel, make sure you check him out tomorrow. He's going to be doing a live stream tomorrow, a special one just for the holiday. So that's really exciting. I will definitely be watching that while I work on a couple of UFOs I've got going. 
I have way too many UFOs, guys. Just way too many. <laughs> so that's what that's my goal for tomorrow is to to watch Sean's live in the morning and work on a bunch of UFOs. So how else is everybody's week going? My goodness, it has been it's been a week for me. It's been it's been my daytime job has been a struggle. <laughs> it was a, it was a challenge this week for sure. That's why I was so grateful to be able to come in here on Friday night and even yesterday and just spend the whole day in here just kind of you know just trying to let go of all of that stresses that stress and let the machine take it <laughs> i guess if you will watched a couple of movies yesterday on netflix that was a lot of fun really got to kind of enjoy that Kelly says, I'm washing black fabric right now so I can finish up a medallion quilt. Ooh, yeah, good good idea, Kelly. You have the black. Black and red seem to be the ones that you really have to pre-wash those because they, they can just get all over everything. So I'm going to set these over here because I need that garbage can. Those seem to just want to get all over everything. So now one of the tricks of this is that we have to keep these blocks together in order to make, we have to keep these pieces together in order to make our blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them like this. And then that's why I've got my binder clips here is because I'm going to clip each one of these. So then that way they stay together so they don't get um, mixed up. Because that's one of the things about this pattern is that you take two of these sets and you cut them up together and then you sew them up together and that's what makes our block. So since I'm going to be doing all the cutting at one time, I don't want to get these things all mixed up. So that's why I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to keep everything organized. Kathy says she's working on UFOs right now too. I know the feeling, Kathy, I've got a bunch of things that I need to finish up. You guys can see, well, you can't really see them too far behind me. They're over here. Ooh, I can't figure out the direction. They're right here. <laughs> these are my ufos i have some here and then i have a couple of my purple bins down there at the bottom too that i need to work on good morning linda thank you so much for coming back i know you were on the other channel the other stream and uh we had some issues so i'm glad you find your found your way back thank you so much for joining us really appreciate that So glad you were able to find your way back. But yeah, the, the, I've seen it just a, there's been a, a bunch of new uh, subscribers to the channel. So I'm really hoping that some of the new subscribers are able to join us this morning. It would be great to have some, some new names and faces. Not that I don't love my regulars. I absolutely adore my regulars. But it's always good to see new people too. It's always good to make new friends. I think I'm going to need to change this blade. This is a, like a brand new blade, and I think I'm going to have to change it because it's, it's giving me trouble. All right, so then we flip this one over here, kind of half an inch off the top. I've got to remember not, I've got to remember not to forget to cut this half inch off the top. Right. Thimbles. Yes. Thank you guys for reminding me. So if you're new to the channel, we have a points program that runs through the chat box, through the chat bot that's called Thimbles. And basically it's just a points program where you are earning points as you're watching the channel and you earn a couple of extra points when you are participating in chat. And that's just my way of saying thank you. And then those points can actually be turned in for prizes. Right now I only have one prize set up. Um, I swear guys, I am going to put more up there. I just have not had the opportunity to do it yet. Um, right now it's just a random fat quarter, but you can, you're earning points as you're watching the stream and participating in chat. And then you can also play a little mini game that we have called a heist game, which is basically just a luck of the draw kind of thing. You Tell the computer how many points you're willing to risk, and then it randomly selects a winner. Uh, 
Good morning, Patty. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Sunday morning to you. I hope you're having an amazing holiday weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad you find, found our second stream here. The first one was a bit of a debacle. I'm having some audio issues. What else is new? You know, I thought I had gotten them all figured out when I bought the new mic that I was working with, and then that mic decided it didn't want to work anymore. <laughs> so, now I'm back to square one. That's all right, though. We'll figure it out, right? But good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Looks like Lucas has already started that heist. He is getting ready to go. I know Brenda's not on yet. I haven't seen her pipe in yet, but when she does... He's in big trouble. <laughs> you guys have so much fun with that game. I'm glad that you could do, though. It's, I'm glad. All right. Here's another one that's clipped up. So right now, like I said, we're just kind of doing a bunch of slicing up, and that's why the machine isn't out yet. It will be out later, I'm sure. But for right now, I've got to do a bunch of slicing. I probably won't slice them all. I'll probably only do about half of them. Um, just so that we have something to do. But I do a half an inch off the top. And then I take two and a half inches this way. I followed the first two to get here. <laughs> well, Patty, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you found your way. <laughs> Well, we are here every Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. I love it when you guys show up with me. <laughs> it's so nice to have friends. Kelly, there should be a link for your channel as well, too, if you want to do exclamation point. Kelly, if you're not already following her, make sure you go over there and give her a, a subscribe and a like. She does some really fun things over there. Really, really fun. Okay, so it says to press everything towards the dark. So, I mean, my fabrics are pretty bright colored anyway, so I'm just basically picking. I don't know which one I'm picking, but I'm just picking one. Angel is here with us. She's, you might hear her um, right above you guys, actually. She's on the bed above the camera. So if you hear weird noises, I do apologize for that. That's why I usually use a regular mic because you guys can hear all these outside noises. And currently she is talking to us. Good morning, Angel. I'm sure she'll want to come down here shortly. Kelly says I can't do that on the iPad. No problem, Kelly. Uh, Lucas, if you wouldn't mind doing exclamation point Kelly for her, for that channel, that would be great. Oh, Sylvia got it. Looks like Sylvia got it. Thank you very much for that. And you, you guys can hear Angel saying good morning. Good morning, Angel. Yes, I see you. Do you want to get down? Is that why you're standing there staring at me? Do you want to come down? Oh, yeah? What would you like? Hmm? Congratulations, Lucas. You must have won the heist. I must have missed it while Angel was distracting me. Uh, congratulations to you for winning. Just don't let Brenda know. <laughs> what do you want? How can I help? This is also why I usually have a regular us separate mic so that you guys don't have to listen to her meow the whole time. Because she's loud. 
Kelly says iPad won't want her to do exclamation points first. Oh, no, that's no problem, Kelly. We got you. We got you. Don't you worry. No worries. We got it. And normally I have music going on in my ear in the background so that it doesn't seem like it's so quiet in here for me. But I'm getting an echo because of the, the mic that I'm using. So I had to take my headset off because that was really distracting me. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's like super quiet in here right now. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get through it. Yes, Lucas, Angel misses you. Yeah, every time I mention your name, she gets excited. <laughs> Yep, that is what it is. Okay, just cutting up some pieces here. So what else is everybody working on this week, this beautiful holiday weekend? I mean, I can't imagine you guys aren't working on a bunch of projects. Um, yesterday, I was working on... The FPP project that we started the week before, um, those flying geese made Christmas trees for a Christmas quilt from the Fat Quarter Jolly Box. Um, so I did that and I've got the houses all made up. I can show you what those look like if you guys are interested. They're really cute. I actually have to cut up more fabric. Um, I did not cut up any of the sashing when I made the... Quilt. I didn't cut up any of the sashing. Okay, I'm having a hard time with this ruler. Um, there's so many lines on this ruler. It makes it so hard for me to figure out which one's the half inch. So, and trying to talk to you guys and figure that out, it's just, it's becoming too difficult. So <laughs> I don't want to make a mistake. So I'm just going to do it this way. Um, so yeah, I finished up the houses and I, the Christmas trees. So now I have to cut up the rest of the sashing to go along with that. And then I also have to put the borders on Tony's quilt. That was the um, Tower Bridge project. Uh, the pink and gray Tower Bridge project that we finished up a couple weeks ago. I have to put the borders on that and get that over to my long arm so that she can get that sewn up. I was kind of hoping to have that done before Tony came back home. She'll be home at the end of September, her and Taylor both. But I don't think that I'm going to get it done in time. Good morning, Shirley. Thank you so much for joining us today. I loved your video yesterday or the day before. I watched it yesterday. I'm not exactly sure when you posted it about your cutting tools. That was super informational and super helpful. I really appreciated that. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you go check out Shirley at Around To It um, on YouTube. I think I've got um, a link for her channel in there. Uh, Lucas, if you could do exclamation point Shirley, see if that comes up. If not, I can get one in there. Good morning, Susan. Thank you so much for joining me. Or us, I should say, not just me, but us. We were having some audio issues this morning, but I'm glad you find it found your way over here. I, we appreciate that. Just working on our mix and match. This is part three, which is also step three. There's Brenda. Good morning, Brenda. Lucas missed you. He already won one heist. <laughs> Better put him in his place. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. I have to put eye drops in my eyes, so I'll just be listening. No problem, Shirley. I understand. The allergy season is horrendous. In fact, I just went to the the doctor for my annual checkup on Friday and I was telling her, I said, I don't know. I asked her, I said, do allergies get worse as you get older? Because I feel like the last couple of years, my allergies have just been horrendous. And she said, yes, yes, that happens. She said, and it's also the, the environment as well. So, you know, there's that to think about as well. <laughs> it's so much fun. So yeah, I, I completely understand you when you say you need to put eye drops in your eyes. I understand. 
Lucas says you weren't supposed to tell her that. Well, you know, Luca, Lucas, you know me. I can't keep a secret. <laughs> oh, Brenda's working on a Bargello. Brenda, I'd love to see pictures of that. Did you post any in the Facebook group? If not, if you could, that would be great. I'd love to see that. Um, and for those of you who are new, we do have our own Facebook group for the channel. It's uh, Danny and the Experts. If you do exclamation point FB in chat, it'll give you a link. I love seeing pictures of what you guys are doing. I wish we could share pictures here on YouTube, but it just doesn't work that way. So we, we have to do it over there on Facebook. Um, but I love seeing what you guys are working on because you guys keep me motivated. <laughs> so, good morning, Angel. Do you want down now? Okay, excuse me just a moment, everyone. I'm coming. Uh, yeah, I know. Say good morning. I know. I know, I know. I know, I know. There we go. Better? Excuse me. Thank you. Yes, Angel. One of the lovely things about using this particular mic is everyone can hear you. Everybody can hear you. Boy, I missed some things here. Was preparing to go out and eat. Ooh, Brenda, that sounds yummy. <laughs> so in another hour, that took a long nap. <laughs> Brenda says, was on Donna's live Zoom last night or this morning? Midnight till 2.15. Oh, my goodness, Donna. Um, I'm not sure I know who that is. Don what channel is that, Donna? Not Donna Jordan, I can't imagine. Wow, oh, Chad is going crazy. My sorry, guys. Hang on here. Handmade by Ying with Donna. Oh, okay, Brenda. Thank you. Well, wow, late night, yeah. Chloe says I was too tired to join in. I have to work later today. Oh, Chloe, I'm sorry to hear that. I am lucky enough that I get my weekends off. I only have to work one weekend a year for physical inventory, and that's in December. I am very lucky. Okay, now it says towards the dark. So I'm going to do, I do towards the dark that way. Towards the pink. Oh, looks like Brenda's already trying to get that heist together. Brenda, it might be a little early for that heist. You might have to wait a few more minutes because, you know, Lucas, he got in there right away, started one so he could win it, but just before you came in. <laughs> Four hours past your bedtime, Susan. My goodness. <laughs> it was pretty light. Although, if that... You said 12.30. My goodness. Yeah, that was... I was sound asleep by then. But I'll have to check that out. Maybe that'll be something I can join later. That'll be fun. I've never joined one of those. Um, Becca's got one on her channel for her uh, members, which I am not a member of her channel. I probably should be, but I'm not. Um, but I've never joined anything like that before, so that could... That sounds like it could be fun. It'd be a lot of fun. I imagine it's a bit of chaos though too with everybody talking at once and I can only imagine. <laughs> so all I'm doing right now is I'm 
doing the first of two cuts. So we have to do um, a straight cut and then a diagonal cut. And I don't want to do the diagonal cut just yet because I'm afraid that the pieces are going to come apart when I do that because I want to be able to sew it up right away as soon as we do that. So I'm just doing this straight cut first and then I am clipping everything together with some binder clips that I've got sitting here um, just so that we can keep these kind of sets together because you do work with four pieces at a time. Good morning, Anne. Thank you so much for joining me or us. I should say us, not just me. There's a bunch of other people here. So I'm just, sorry, I was distracted with Angel once again. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much to, thank you so much for joining. Lovely day from the Oregon coast. Lovely day with the family. Yes, it is a beautiful day with family. The weather here is kind of it's like a doom and gloom here. It rained most of the day yesterday. Um, and then today it's just kind of gloomy out there. Um, but that's okay. You know, you can't, it can't always be perfect, right? Okay, I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Um, no, I want this one. So we work with sets of four uh, charm squares or we started with layer cakes and cut them into charms but we start with four um we pair we're pairing them up together so I don't trust myself to be able to cut these at the same time so I'm going to cut one at a time I do not trust myself to cut more than one of these at a time so I'm just going to do it one at a time If you are new to the channel and haven't been on a live stream before, please pop into the chat window and say hello. I'd love just to know you're there. I know we've got a lot of new subscribers this week, so I'm hoping that some of you are able to make it to our live stream. Uh, you do have to set up your own, as part of the YouTube securities, you do actually have to set up your own channel in order to participate in the chat. But the channel is just for security reasons. You don't actually have to post anything. You don't have to put any videos up or do anything like that. It is just a security thing. So then that way YouTube knows your username. Um, so they, if there's any issues or things like that. Plus it also, um, once you do have your own channel and you do have that and you're subscribed to my channel, that's when you'll actually start earning the thimbles that we talk about a lot. So if it's, Something you're interested in. Sylvia, we're reminding everybody to give a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. Thank you, Sylvia, for the reminder. I did see a new request in Facebook for a new member. I hope that new member is also joining us today. Good morning. Um, I'm sure Lucas will be able to approve that for you right away. And if he doesn't, I can get to it after the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Look forward to, to seeing what you're working on and chatting with you over there. Oh, geez. I'm missing some stuff here. Let's see. Oh, Brenda is so sweet. She says, it feels so natural. All my cool friends feel like family. Just a bunch of girls who love to sew. Amen, Brenda. That's so sweet of you to say. Anne says, next week we're going to have two simple quilts plus finishing a Halloween quilt and the latest Cotton Cuts mystery quilt. Love it. My goodness, girl, you are busy. <laughs> Katie says, cutting fabric for the Fort Worth Fabric Halloween quilt along. Have a cold and finally feel up to sewing. Oh, Katie, I'm so sorry you have a cold, but I'm glad to see, hear that you're feeling a little bit better. Hopefully you'll you'll get even better here shortly. Get some rest, lots of liquids. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Are you guys playing the heist game again? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> Lucas has already accepted. Thank you, Lucas, for taking care of that. I appreciate that. And welcome to the new member. I will put an official notice out there later on. Patty says, I just joined your Facebook group. Oh, Patty, that's so great. Thank you. Make sure you post pictures of what you're working on. I'd love to see them there. Thank you. <laughs> Brenda, be nice. Ain't you special? <laughs> Susan and I sew together through Messenger. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Good morning, Sandra. I didn't even see you pop in. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. That actually sounds like fun. I never even thought to do something through Messenger. That sounds like a lot of fun. That's great. Okay, just ironing these up here. That one looks pretty crooked. I'm going to have to look at that one. I think I did something wonky there when I sewed it. Yeah, I love seeing what you guys are working on over there on Facebook. I wish I need to, I need to be on there more to, to post more things that I'm working on. Um, but I get so distracted with all the beautiful projects that you guys are working on. I kind of forget about my own <laughs> sometimes. So I, I got to get better at that. When someone asked me in one of the other streams if I had an Instagram, I do not. I, I do not have an Instagram. I should. And I need to start working on it. It's something that I've been thinking about. I just haven't got really gotten there yet. Um, you know, for the most part, the channel is a weekend warrior kind of thing. Um, I do my editing during the week, but I do all my recording and planning and everything else um, on the weekends. Because I don't really have a, a lot of time during the week for a lot of things. Because I do have a... Daytime job that travels into the evenings sometimes. I'm sure that we are all familiar with that. So I don't always get to everything that I want to get to in the amount of time I want to get to it. So, But I appreciate your guys' patience with me. So this last, so this, the channel has seen... 22 new subscribers because of the quilt block chant the um quilt blocker block challenge from cotton cuts that particular video which was basically a tutorial on how to make that specific block so i think what i want to try to do and you guys tell me if you like this idea but i think i want to try and do more not all the time but more single block videos where we're just making a single block um, it would be a tutorial video. Um, I would just pick a block at random. I have tons of books on different blocks um, to make. And we could do tutorial videos on those every once in a while to kind of fill the spots. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while and I don't think that I'm going to do the next Cotton Cuts challenge, whatever it may be. Um, after Piazza, I think I'm going to take a break from Cotton Cuts and try and do something a little bit different. Maybe a block of the month or something. I don't know yet. I haven't really decided. But I thought the, the individual block videos that would be a, a how-to on how to make that would be fun um, to do. I, I probably won't be able to give out the cutting instructions because the blocks won't be mine. Um, but I can definitely tell you guys where I get them from. That could be fun. I might try and record a couple of them this weekend just to see how they work out. They were a lot of fun. Yes, welcome Patty to Facebook. Yes, thank you. Oh, Sandra posted Kathy's a channel um, a link for Kathy's channel. Yep, make sure you go follow her up in there. Sandra says we have a Zoom meeting over on oh on Kathy's channel. There's a Zoom meeting. Oh, that's co cool. I haven't been over there. Morning, Kelly. Yes, a sampler quilt with all. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Kelly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Making a sampler quilt with all of those blocks. Um, I actually have. I mean, it's a little ambitious, but I actually have a book in my living room that's a thousand blocks. I don't know that I'm going to make those, that many of them, but I thought it could be fun. It was, I really enjoyed making just the one block and it, 
there not being any stress of trying to finish an entire project in one video or you know giving you guys a couple of videos of an entire project I liked the idea of just doing just doing one it was it was a lot of fun and then like you said I can keep collecting them and then eventually use them for a quilt so yeah I, I might try to do that we'll see I'm sorry about all the background noise that's Angel she makes a lot of noise. Like I said, this is basically Angel's bedroom. She has everything she needs in here. Um, she really doesn't escape from this room too much. She has food. She has water. She has her litter box. She has her bed. Um, you know, she's, in fact, her birthday, she just, her birthday was just on Thursday, I think. She turned 19. 19. Yes. 19. She is as old as the the girls are. Um, she was, girls were eight months old when we found her, and she has been with us. She was, she was a little less than eight weeks old when we found her. She was a um, stray cat that had fallen into my grandmother's window well in her basement, and so we kind of, we, um collected her out of the window well and brought her to the vet to have her checked out and she took a liking to Taylor who's one of my daughters and so we opted to keep her at the time we didn't have any pets um, so she was one of our first pets and we are lucky enough that she is still with us she's a little obnoxious Maya good morning I think that was your, your name was the one that popped up on the Facebook Honey. I'm sorry. She she likes to. She gets camera shy. Okay. What do you want? You just want attention? Yeah, you know, I got a bunch of people here. I'm trying to talk to. You're you're taking you're taking me away from them. Okay, I'm gonna shut the door now. <laughs> Jeez. <That's a> pain. <laughs> Such a pain sometimes. But good morning, Maya. I think I saw yours was one of the ones that was requested on Facebook. I think Lucas took care of that for you. So good morning. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us and for joining the Facebook group. I look forward to seeing what you're working on. There we go. We are working on our mix and match project. We've been working on it. This is our third time working on it. Um, it's going slowly. <laughs> it's slow moving, but that's all right. Why do I feel like I have two of these same? Oh, no, I don't. Okay, good. <sighs> I missed some things in chat here again. Let's see. Chloe says I love samplers. Yeah, I've made one of them so far, Chloe, and I, I enjoyed it. I really liked the fact that there was so much variety, and I put a, um, it was a black and white quilt. I think I'm did I put a picture of that in my Facebook group? I don't remember. Um, it was a black and white quilt, and I used a really hot pink magenta sashing, so it really stood out. That was a lot of fun. Katie says, my old cat is 17 or 18. She is my shadow. Oh, yeah. Angel, Angel's got some health issues. She's had them for quite a while. Um, so she, she, she's my daughter's shadow for sure. She's definitely not my shadow. She actually really doesn't like anyone else in their house except for my daughter. Well, and Lucas too. Um, but, but you know, she's, she's still with us. So we are very grateful for that. They've told us she's not in any pain and she's not suffering. So we just kind of live, let her live out her days. However many there, there are. I'm excited for my quilt project so along with Chum Dash. Oh, Churn Dash? Churn Dash. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. I'm, I think I missed that because that's Dawn's channel, isn't it? Marie, don't you worry about being late. You're never late, hon. Don't worry about it. The first, so the first time we tried to do this, we had no audio. So don't you worry. No worries. I appreciate you being here, though. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Sorry guys, checking the chat again, just making sure I'm not missing anything. Thanks so much for joining us.
Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that I would do any type of a quilt along with the, the black idea just yet. Um, and I feel like sometimes it's a lot of pressure on people to have the right fabric ready. And I'll have to wait and see. I think I want to record a couple of videos first, see how they do, see um, how they work out. Because you guys know I am so not an expert. <laughs> so I would be learning how to make these blocks right along with you right on camera um, so it's, it can be entertaining sometimes <laughs> although the the quilt blocker one that one was super easy to do I really enjoyed that one morning Sylvia Sylvia what are you trying to do there hon you trying to get the creators list if you do exclamation point creators it'll give you a list of all the the creators that I have links for You can do exclamation point creators, it'll give you a thousand, and then you can do um, exclamation point info, I-N-F-O, for all of the commands that um, my channel has so far. More constantly being added. Chloe's still holding down that record. She's up there at 4,100 thimbles. Good for her. She's getting closer to being able to claim that fat quarter bundle, or not bundle, just a fat quarter. I will be putting a bundle up there, um, but I haven't yet. Kelly says, I have two grad quilts to finish, then maybe can join someone's quilt along. Oh, wow, yeah, two graduation quilts, that's a lot. I have so many projects going right now, I really need to stop adding to it and finish something. <laughs> I have way too many. I'm starting to actually give myself anxiety over the amount of projects I have going right now. So I need to finish something. I need to finish something to give myself a little bit of kudos to myself so that I can I can keep moving forward. So, oops. Okay, Ange. I have a tendency to give myself a little bit of anxiety when I don't finish things. Uh-oh. Brenda's going all in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> She's going to risk it all. Can't take it back. I still haven't figured out how to get that treasure hunt stuff off there. I cannot find it anywhere. It's so funny. Good luck. Good luck. Everybody's telling Brenda good luck. She's risking all of her points. Oh boy. <laughs> Hopefully she wins them all back. Streamlabs can be evil. <laughs> I guess what the odds ever be in your favor. That's funny. <laughs> many have we got here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we'll do a few more. All right. <laughs> you guys. Angel can't decide what she wants to do first. She sits by the door and now she's underneath my table here. She can't decide what she wants to do. Right. Just flattening the, out these seams here. We'll probably do two more of these 
little sets and then we'll pull the machine out and do a little bit of sewing so we're not sitting here you guys aren't sitting here staring at me doing this the whole time <laughs> yes amen the good news is that you know your the points are free you know the thimbles are free so you can always earn more it's not actually costing you any real money so that's the good news and just think of how much joy there is in, in earning more okay i hear you what would you what you only know See you later. She'll be back. <laughs> she always is. <laughs> she has become, she was never very chatty when she was younger, but she has become very loud and obnoxious since, uh, since she's gotten older. Very loud and obnoxious. But that's okay. At her age, I think she's loud. <laughs> I think she's officially reached that age where she just doesn't care anymore. <laughs> ah, life goals, right? Life goals. All right, so that should be eight. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine. Nope, one more. Ten. So I'm just trying to, like, because you have to have four of these. Right, so I'm just grabbing like random ones. Just trying to make sure I don't have the same pattern, the same fabric. Oh, here we go. Oh no, Brenda. <laughs> no, she lost them all. Oh, Brenda, painful. But you know what, that's okay though. We love you anyway. <laughs> Abby has an amazingly annoying meow. Yeah, Angel has gotten really loud and obnoxious just within the last year or so. She gives out this one meow. I swear to God, you'd think she was dying. I mean, it's just this screeching, oh my God, I've hurt myself. You need to come running meow. And so, of course, you know, the first few times she did it, we're like, oh my God, you know, this is it, you know, and, and it wasn't, of course, but it was, <laughs> it's just so annoying. And so now, but now she does it all the time. So if you, I apologize if she starts to do it during this live stream, because unfortunately with this particular mic, you guys get to hear everything in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see how it goes. But yeah, she might, I, I, I promise you, if she does do it, she's not, she's not dying. She's just being overly dramatic. <laughs> Sylvia says, OMG, I'm on the scoreboard. <laughs> Congratulations, Sylvia. Sandra says I went for broke last week. <laughs> you guys have way too much fun with that game, and I, I love the fact that you guys do have so much fun with it. And I even lowered the prize total, too. I lowered it down to, um, uh, yeah, this, something's wrong with this. Uh, I lowered the prize down to 7,500. Um, symbols, and then I also, I'm going to flip over this mat, um, I also increased the amount of points you earn as you're watching the channel. I did that just this morning. So you were only in, uh, earning like 10, I think, when you were watching for every five minutes, and I upped that to 25, and then you, will all, you were also only earning... Two, I think, um, when you participated in chat, but I have increased that to five. So hopefully, hopefully that helps a little bit. You know, Brenda, she'll be able to earn those points back right away. So I was having this weird, like, grooving thing. So I must, I must use the same line all the time to cut 
my fabric with. So I just flipped my mat over because um, that groove was too deep and it was screwing up my pieces here. But now I don't know, did I cut that half an inch? I think I did. I think I cut the half inch. So I'm going to go this way now. Let me just measure and make sure. Excuse me. Hiccups today. Yes, that says four and a half. Okay. I got myself distracted. I couldn't figure out what I did. So let's see if this works. There we go. There we go. That's better. Susan says, Danny, I tried a magic eraser on my cutting mat the other day and it did a great job. Oh, Susan, I'm going to have to try that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Um, that advice. I really appreciate that. I'm going to try that. Um, I don't have so much trouble with pieces getting stuck in there, although I probably should scrub it anyway. I have more trouble with like because I use the same line over and over again that the, the blade actually like cuts a groove into it. Um, that That's what I seem to struggle with more, but I like the idea of a magic eraser because I watched, I don't remember whose channel it was now, but I watched somebody's channel and they were using a piece of hard um, plastic like packing material that they were using to clean it up, which works really well for them. The problem is that I can't find that. I couldn't find, I don't have any hard plastic, you know, packing material to use. So that wasn't going to really work for me, but I like the idea of the magic eraser. That's, that's a really good idea. I might have to try that. And if you haven't, um, Dawn's not here, but if you haven't subscribed to Dawn's channel at, um, my quilt projects, go over there and check her channel out. She did a video on how to clean your wool pressing mat. Excellent advice. I totally took her advice and did that. The only thing is, is and I'll give you this little tidbit of advice, is when you take the mat, I put my mat outside to dry. When you do that, you want to make sure it's not going to rain that day. <laughs> because otherwise, it kind of defeats the purpose of not soaking your mat. So it took my, my poor wool mat took like two weeks to dry because it got soaking wet outside in the rain because I forgot it was out there. So heed my advice and don't, don't, don't put it outside <laughs> unless, unless you're sure it is not going to rain. So Brenda says, well, I did be a lot for chatting. Make sure your blade is always sharp or you would damage your mat more. That's excellent advice. Excellent advice. I do try to make sure that my blade is sharp, although I have been better about it recently, more so than I was in the past. Um, but yeah, that is excellent, excellent advice. Susan says it helped with the groups. That's why I tried it. Well, then I'm definitely going to try it, Susan. I mean, I was going to try it anyway, but now I'm really curious to know. I'm going to have to try that out today after the stream and let you guys know how it works because that that is a great idea. I'm, I'm hoping that actually helps. That would be great. Um, I've had, this is my second mat. The first one that I had, I had that gro groove issue and I ended up having to buy a new mat because I couldn't figure out how to get it to clean out. So I actually donated it to my husband. Uh, he has his own hobby that he uses these mats with and so he, he has my old one. This is a newer one. <laughs> this always is so good. I'm always chatting. <laughs> Marie says, my mat is reversible and it's time to flip mine for sure. Yeah, Maria, I actually try it just like tires on your car. <laughs> I try to flip mine all the time, try, constantly rotating it and flipping it, kind of trying to wear it evenly <laughs> is what I'm, I'm trying to do. Um, but, you know, that you don't always get there. Okay, so I've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten of them here. 
There's a lot here. We're going to do some more cutting, guys. Sorry. I know it's kind of boring to just keep doing cutting, but I really want to cut up some more of these um, so we can get some more sewing stuff done. So I'm going to cut up a few more, and then we will pull the machine out and do a little bit of sewing. Maya says, if you don't remember when you changed your blade, it's definitely time to do it. Amen. You know, Maya, I need to be better about writing down when I changed it. Although, because I, I make so many projects and I do so much cutting, um, I actually try to judge when I need to change up my blade based on how it's cutting. Um, I use a Martelli cutter. Um, I used to use a regular one, but now I use the Martelli. Now, what I've noticed with the Martelli, and maybe if there's any other Martelli users out there, um, let me know. But... The, mar the blade in the Martelli doesn't spin, and I don't know if it's just because I have it so tight or what, but the blade doesn't actually spin, so I'm constantly spinning it manually. Um, I, I think it's just because it's so tight in there. Maybe I just need to loosen it up a little bit. I'm not sure. If you guys use one and it's supposed to be spinning, let me know because I, I need to fix that. Um, but that's the problem. Uh, that's the only problem I have with the Martelli is that it, it just doesn't, the blade doesn't spin, so it doesn't wear evenly, so I'm constantly spinning it around. Um, but yeah, I bet I just have it too tight. I bet that's just my problem. Is I, it's just so tight that it's not spinning. Um, Danny says, Susan says, I keep cutting the same spots and had to get my husband some of those magic erasers, so I decided to try them, and I really like the results. But Susan, I'm totally going to try this. I have some magic erasers underneath the sink in my kitchen. I am totally going to try this. Um, and if it works, I might even tell my husband about it because he has, like I said, he uses a mat too for his stuff. Um, and I'm sure he doesn't cut fabric, obviously, but he cuts plastic, which is just as bad. So that might not be a bad idea. Marie says exactly. I've been doing the same and I've been trying not to cut in the same spot. Yeah, I do try to move around the mat as much as I can for sure. Kelly says back in a minute. No problem, Kelly. No problem. Sandra says it should spin. Okay, well then maybe I just have it too tight. <laughs> it could be it. It could be it. I maybe I just have it too tight. So I'm gonna loosen it up just a just a pinch here. We'll see if that helps. <laughs> I wondered that. I'm like, but I've never owned one, so I didn't really know. But we'll we'll try that and see if that works. <laughs> it should spin. Marie, I, t I watched Shirley's channel, Shirley's thing yesterday, and I totally missed that. I, I must have missed that. But, yeah, she, she says that um, I watched Shirley cleaning her cutters yesterday, and I did what she did. And I added a drop of oil, and what a game changer. Not too tight. It's the oil that that it needs. I am going to have to go back and watch her channel now, her, her uh, video now, because I missed that. I was doing other things when I was watching her, so obviously I completely spaced out and missed that so I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. Kelly says okay back I was only putting my mug in the dishwasher. That's okay Kelly you're better than I am. I usually just put mine in the sink and then my husband yells at me. <laughs> he usually yells at me. I mean not like yell yell you know he doesn't, he doesn't raise his voice but you know what I mean. Hey, can you guys hear Angel? She's knocking on the door again. I told you she'd be back. What type of oil for the rotary bites? Good call. I was just thinking it was regular all-purpose oil, but that's a good that's a good question, Chloe. Good question. And um, so, uh, Shirley, if you're still here, we'd love to know. Maurice says sewing machine oil. Angel, come on. Are you coming? Okay, come on. Thank you. Give her five more minutes. She'll want to be up there. That's okay. One drop with a Q-tip. Mmm, okay. I might have to try that. Mmm. 
Okay. Thank you, Marie. I just saw your note. It says watch part two. That's probably what I missed then. <laughs> I think I watched part one. I don't really think I watched part two. That could be part of the problem. So um, if you're not already a subscriber to Shirley's channel, you can do exclamation point Shirley in chat. I think, I think it's there. And um, go check out the video that we're talking about, part one and part two of her cutting, her cutting wheels. Sewing machine oil, okay. The game changer. I am gonna totally have to watch that video again because, or that video because, yeah. I do add a drop of oil to my sewing machine in the bobbin section. It's the only place that my owner's manual says to add it, so that's why I follow the owner's manual. Um, but yeah, I never thought to add it to the cutting wheel. Did that work? Yes, it did work. Great. Yeah, that's Shirley's channel there. Make sure you go follow her. She's She does fun things over there too. And obviously she has super helpful videos. A lot more helpful than some of myself for sure. Morning, Tracy. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Sunday to you. We were just talking about cutting wheels and, um, and cutting mats. The recommendation came in to use a Mr. Clean eraser to clean your cutting mat and to add a drop of oil to your cutting wheel to help it work better. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Marie says, plus I used it on a used blade with my paper rotary cutter because I was cutting cards. Okay, and it worked perfectly. One slice, not fighting with cutting multiple times to go through. Ooh. You know, I never thought he would... I used to do um, card crafting. Uh, I don't really so much anymore. Um, but I used uh, just the regular paper cutter. I never even thought to use the rotary blade. Good morning, Teresa. Thank you for joining us. Happy Sunday morning to you. I did not get a chance to catch your live stream yesterday. I do apologize for that. Um, are you still going on live today? Can we, can we catch you there today? I always feel like a superstar has entered my chat whenever Teresa's here. She's amazing. If you guys are not following her channel, you totally need to go over there. But every time I get a little starstruck, every time I see her chat, her, her pop up in chat, she's amazing. Ooh, Susan got a new sewing machine. What? She says, I love my new sewing machine. It oils itself. I only need to make sure the tank is full at the bottom of it. Ooh, you got a big machine, Susan. If you got a tank full, what kind of machine? I'd love to know, is it an industrial machine? Isn't those the ones that usually have the tank at the bottom? Yes, live 2 p.m. Pacific. Thank you, Teresa. Awesome. Yeah, we'll catch you there today. Teresa goes live at 2 p.m. Pacific, and then Tiffany is at 5, I think. So make sure you check those guys out. Teresa does some really fun things on her channel. Some super fun things. Not just quilting projects, but sewing projects in general. She does a lot of really fun things. Good morning, Vicki. Thank you so much for joining today. So good to see you. I've seen you a bunch of times on Facebook. But I haven't gotten to catch you on a live stream yet, so good morning. I hope you are well. I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Angel. So for those of you who are just joining the channel, I've been having some audio issues. 
Um, my last video, you guys noticed that my mic had died. And then I was having some audio issues again this morning. So the microphone I'm using is the one that's on the camera. So the unfortunate part about that is that you guys get to pick up on all of the background noises, including a very incessant cat who's insisting on being in pain this morning. Excuse me just a moment. What do you want? You want up? You want up? Come here. I know. There. Is that what you wanted? <sighs> Go. She's not happy with us since we lofted Taylor's bed. And we put it up so high because now she can't get up there. Um, she needs help to get up and down because she's. we don't want her jumping either. Um, but she gets really angry with us. So I try and put her up there whenever I'm in here because that is her favorite spot to be. But I can't let her go up there when there's nobody in the room. It's just not safe. Oy, I've missed some things. I'm sorry. Dawn, did you pop in? I must have missed you. Good morning. Hi, Dawn. Good morning. We were just talking about one of your one of your videos about uh, cleaning the wool pressing mat. <clears throat> Susan says, oh, she's got a nice machine. She's got a Juki DDL 5500N. It's an industrial sewing machine. Wow, Sean, Susan, that is... I. Wow, I'm jealous. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love my little baby lock, but that's that's a beautiful, that is a machine. And that's not, yeah, that's a machine. That's beautiful. Uh oh, Lucas, you have dropped out. Chloe's up there in first place. Oh, look at that. Tracy's up there in second. Lucas is in third. Wow. Something happened. I must have missed something. Oh, look at that. Even I'm on the map. 502. That's funny. We'll have to reset that. Yeah, we were just discussing um, cleaning our wool pressing mats and cleaning our um, cutting uh, mats here and uh, ordering up our sewing machines. You know, routine maintenance. <laughs> I do actually have a video on my channel for the maintenance that I do between projects. Um, I don't show it a lot on the videos because it's just not really something you guys need to see. But um, if you're interested in that, I think there's a link in the description box below. You can check that out after the channel. It's nothing too crazy and it's more specific to my machine than anyone else's, but at least it shows you what I do. Lucas says, I lost that last time. Ah, okay. Dawn says she had to run to the store. Thank you for the video mention. Oh, no problem, Dawn. I mean, it's no problem at all. Um, if you do exclamation point, I think it's my quilt projects. I don't think I've changed it over to your name yet. Um, if you do exclamation point, my quilt projects, it should show up there. Or try Dawn, one of the two. I can't remember which one it is. I'll have to fix it, whichever one it is. I'm trying to do people's names because they're shorter. <laughs> Plus, then that way it helps me remember them because I'm terrible with that. Marie says, don't forget the Martelli blades have oil when we get them, so it makes sense to add some whenever you change your blade and clean it. I do keep oil in the, cause like I have my extra blades in the, one of these little containers. I do put a couple of drops of oil in these, um, just to make sure that they don't rust or get gross or anything like that. But you know, I know I just, I never thought to like re oil it. I mean, I know it has oil on it cause I always feel the oil when I'm changing. I just never thought to, I don't know why I never thought to put more on, but I didn't. But that's an excellent, excellent idea. Uh, Susan says, I was wanting to start stitch sewing machine and found a few used ones in my area and a new one was only a few hundred more than used. I figured why not? Absolutely, Susan. I wish I had the space for an industrial, a straight stitched industrial machine. Um, I mean, I think that's everybody's goal is to have one of those beautiful machines. So you are a super lucky girl and I'm sure you know that already. Um, I think that's everybody's dream is to have one of those beautiful industrial machines for straight stitching.
Yeah, I don't know if it's that one or if it's Dawn. If not, I'll have to fix it. Thank you, Lucas. Alright, let me grab a couple more of these. I, I swear, guys, we are going to pull the machine out today. I swear. I'm just I'm trying to build up enough that there's enough here to do till the stream ends. That's all. Because these aren't going to take us very long to, to slice up and sew again. So Kelly says I'm going to head out. The iPad needs charging. Oh, of course, Kelly. No, I appreciate you coming along. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully um, I'll be able to catch your channel later during the week. If you've got anything uh, posting, let us know. Um, otherwise, I hopefully see you next weekend. Um, next weekend, the stream will start a little bit later because we're doing our virtual breakfast with our kids. Last year, we did them on the first Sunday of every month. This year, we're going to be doing them on the second Sunday. So the second Sunday of every month, the stream will start about half an hour later than normal. So instead of it starting at 1030, it'll start at 11. Just because our breakfast with our kids runs until about 10 and the time frame between 10 and 10.30 to get everything set up and ready is just, it's just too much, too much stress. So um, we are trying to make it a little bit less stress. I'm going to grab one of these. I'm trying to grab something. Yeah, this will work. But yes, thank you, Kelly, for joining us. I hope you have an amazing week. I hope to see you again next week. I have no idea what this week's video is going to be about, but guys, because I haven't recorded it yet. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I'm not even sure that there will be a video this week because it's almost like I've gotten to a point where I have so many things I want to record that I can't pick one. So, so I need to, I need to start figuring that out. I do like the idea of the quilt block though. I think that could be a lot of fun. Just a quick tutorial video on a different block. So the cool thing about those is I might even be able to record those along with my normal videos you know because I'm still doing the cotton cut stuff so even with, along with those so I might be able to do two videos a week we'll have to wait and see Lucas says speaking of I may have some bad news uh oh Lucas what's wrong <laughs> doing the dishes now if it weren't for chores I'd get the cool thing done amen Don I understand if it makes you feel any better I usually just skip the chores <laughs> The good news is that my husband also has his own hobby, so you know we both end up skipping the chores, and then our house looks just completely atrocious and crazy. And the kids are like, "Why is the house so crazy?" And I'm like, "But I made two quilts." <laughs> Brenda, wow, Papa is going to show how do I set up a computer? Oh, that could be entertaining. That could be entertaining. I'd like to actually like to see that. But well, they're IT people, aren't they? They're IT specialists, so that actually would might be helpful instead of it being entertaining. Chloe well, says, "Me too." Dawn, I'm folding laundry. Yeah, I have laundry to fold afterwards. Yes, Lucas. We all want to know what your bad news is. Lucas says, I'm getting a job and may not be able to catch the streams because of the times I work. Oh, Lucas, that's not bad news. Oh, you silly little lamb. That is not bad news at all. That is great news for you. The, 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 the stream, although I super appreciate your help, it is not a high priority on your to-do list right now. Your to-do list is your future. And so that is not bad news at all. In fact, that is congratulating news. I think that's ecstatic. I'd love to hear more about what kind of a job it is, what you're doing. Hopefully it's something towards your, I know in January you're going to have that internship, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, no, don't worry about that. That's okay. I'll just keep accidentally blocking Brenda. It's fine. <laughs> uh, 
I'm still sorry about that. <laughs> um, it's not a problem though. My competition though. <laughs> Well, you know, if, you, if you're if you lucky enough to have one of those jobs where you can keep your phone on, you can always still participate on your phone. Otherwise, it's okay. All right, I think this will be the last one that I cut up here, and let's pull the machine out at least for a little while. Yes. Working on Sundays is not great, but your future is way more important than my live stream. Way, way, way more important. Way, way, way more important. Blocker from gaining thimbles. That's not nice. It's an accident. I didn't mean to. And it wasn't an accident. It was an actual accident. <laughs> she forgave me. It's okay. She understood. I had no idea what I was doing. I'm going to pull the machine out here, guys. It's going to be really loud and obnoxious, and I apologize for that. Normally, with my regular headset, you guys don't hear all this loud and obnoxious noise, but it is what it is. So, I'm going to pull the machine out. Here she comes. So pretty. He says, I'll be a cashier at the market that we have on campus and will mostly be self checkout, so I might be able to join if no one has any questions. LOL. Oh, Lucas, don't you worry about it. I don't want you to get in trouble. But if you can join us, you know you're always welcome. It sounds like the same thing that Taylor's doing, and I think that's great. A little bit of extra spending money is always a good thing. Especially with the schools that you guys have picked to go to. Sheesh. They are some expensive schools. Of course, nowadays I think every school is expensive, but yeah. Yes, like Chloe says, no need to stress. We'll be here. You can always catch us after the stream. And for those of you who are watching now, uh, you can always catch us after the stream. I post all of our lives, even the debacle ones. Um, get posted to the channel so you can laugh at us through those. <laughs> All right, now I have to check the directions again because I think. Hold on. Okay. All right, open the black, press the seam allowances towards the darker print, which is what we did. Lay one of each of the resulting patchwork units right sides together, which I did. Light on dark and dark on light, which. Uh, the seam allowances will nest, which they do. Cut each pair along one diagonal in opposite directions as shown below. Okay, so I have to lay them this way. Like this. And I cut one this way. Wish me luck, guys. Chloe, Danny, make a list. <laughs> There's one. And then here's the other one. All right, so there's that. Turn the pieces around so that you have four squares as shown below on the left. Okay. No, I have to sew them, don't I? Hold on. Now swap the pieces around so that you have four squares as shown below in on the left. Stitch the four triangles together along the diagonals. I think I'm just supposed to sew these, aren't I? Hold on. Yeah, I'm supposed to sew them first, then switch them around. Okay. 
I made this mistake the last time, guys, and that's why I'm like, I'm oh, I've got to make sure I'm doing it correctly this time. The machine is way too far over. Okay. Oh, boy. Lots of people are joining that whole heist over there. Must be a heist going on. I'm over here focused on sewing, and you guys are over there playing it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. Okay, let's see if this works. One. Good luck to all our, our players. My goodness, everybody's playing. Good luck, you guys. I almost feel like I should join, join in just to... <laughs> Just so I don't feel left out. So I'm chain piecing these and I'm literally just feeding one triangle into the next. I'm pretty sure this is how you're supposed to do it. We're going to find out in a minute. And to work, work, work every day. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, now I need to press these open. on the bias, so I'm being really, really gentle. Pressing these open. And I'm pressing them all the same direction, too. So I've got my little, little bitty rectangle pieces or, or square pieces on the left so that I know I'm pressing them all the same direction. And then you're going to lay them out like this. I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera a little bit, but yeah, I've got one there, one there. And I'm doing the opposites so that all the little squares are in the center like that, and that will be our block. So, but the first thing we're going to have to do is trim all these up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually stack these back up the way they were before, and we're going to trim them all later. So I'm just going to keep slicing them and sewing them and then stacking them back up and we'll trim them all later. Congratulations, Brenda. Wow, lots of winners this time. Look at all those winners. Congratulations to all of our winners. Lots of winners today. Lots of winners. Brenda says, okay, got to go. See you later. <laughs> now that she's won, she's got to take off quick. <laughs> no problem, Brenda. You have a wonderful day. 
wonderful weekend, wonderful holiday, safe and happy. And hopefully I will see you again next week. And this one shows cutting it this way. I don't think it really matters, honestly. Because you end up with the same thing. But I'll do it this way. This is the way it shows. Sandra says I'm better off to just listen and chat. Oh, Sandra. <laughs> the highest game is something fun. That's why I don't play Sanders, because I have terrible luck, so if it weren't for bad luck, I wouldn't have any at all. Alright, so we're going corner to corner. I really probably need to invest in one of those spinning mats. I feel like that would make my life a little bit easier with some of these patterns, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll get through it. Alright, so first things first, we'll do this one. Marie says, woo I'm gaining thimbles. <laughs> well, Marie, don't forget, you're gaining them just for watching the channel. Um, just for watching, you're gaining 25 thimbles every five minutes. And then you're also gaining an extra five thimbles for every time you participate in chat. So you're gaining them either way. But you just, you win them a little bit faster when you win the heist. And I looked into that other mini game that I was talking about on the last stream, and it turns out it's not what I was thinking it was. So I didn't activate it. I didn't think it was going to be very enjoyable for you guys. Sanders says, I should be selling. <laughs> no pressure, Sandra. No pressure. None whatsoever. Okay, so there's the directions again. To pull this one off. <laughs> Marie says, yes. That's great. All right, so just opening these up again. And like I said, I'm just going to press them open and then pile them up again like we did before. I'm pressing them all the exact same direction so that when we do go to sew these all up, all the seams nest up really nicely. Oh my goodness, Susan, when I first saw that word, I thought that said deleting. I was like, oh my god, what is she deleting? Don't delete me. <laughs> no, she said she's debating on whether or not to chop up my strips or to sew the next set together first. Mm. Watching the fur grand dogs throwing a ball and said, Sandra, absolutely, I would totally be doing that, yeah. Oh boy, Lucas is hugging the cloud bot again. Trying to suck up to that cloud bot. You and Don both. <laughs> uh, Susan, if it makes you feel any better, that's what these pieces are here. As I decided one day that I, last week, um, when I was in here by myself trying to just, trying to just get myself a little motivated, I decided to make some strip tubes. Um, I've got them all sitting there. They're the black ones down here at the bottom right here. These ones right here. Those are some strip tubes. Um, 
I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I have no idea. But I had um, a half a jelly roll of black, solid, or, uh, printed black and then a half a jelly roll of some pink and gray. So I just sewed them up together and then I'm going to I'm gonna make a um, walk in the park pattern because um, I really enjoyed that one and the last time I made that, um, the last one that I made for, I made for one of my neighbors who was uh, wheelchair bound. And so I actually made her a lap quilt for when she was sitting in her wheelchair um, of that pattern. So I was thinking I was going to make that pattern again because I really enjoyed it. I really liked the way it looked. So I have no idea what it'll make. It'll probably just be a throw blanket, I'm sure. But, you know, I'm getting to a point with my projects that I need to start figuring out what I'm going to do with them. Um... You know, I mean, I usually, there's a lot of times where I'll make, pro I'll start projects because they're gifts for other people. Um, like this one here is a gift for someone specific. I'm not going to say who that is. Uh, they'll just have to wait and find out when they receive it. But this is a gift for someone specific. A lot of my projects are gifts for someone specific, but some of them are not. Like the two um, cotton cuts quilts that I'm working on right now. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those yet. This strip tube, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that one. Even the table runner that's above it. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do with those either. So I'm actually thinking about putting them up on an Etsy shop and just saying, you know, see if somebody wants them there. If they don't, that's okay too. Um, but at least that way maybe I can make a little bit more money for the channel to um, help fund some more projects. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. I haven't really decided um, if that's what I want to do yet or not. We'll have to wait and see. Susan says I'm talking about the Bargello from last night. Oh! Yes, I have made plenty of Bargellos, and I hate them every time I make them. They're absolutely beautiful when they're done, but I hate making them. <laughs> um, obviously, you guys know the, the picture for the channel page is a rainbow Bargello. That was the very first one I've ever made. And then I'm sure you guys have seen my Bargello videos for the two table runners that I made. The second one is still sitting there. Um, the table runner is done, but I just have to actually um, sandwich it up and quilt it and put it all together. But... Bargellos are beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous. I hate making them <laughs> because they're, I get turned around so easily and so quickly with trying to figure out the strips that I just, I struggle. I really, truly struggle. Uh, that video that you guys saw of me making the Bargello table runner, it was a lot of takes and a lot of pulling of seams because I kept doing things wrong. But they are beautiful. Um, good luck on that one. I hope it turns out gorgeous. I'm sure it will, and I can't wait to see pictures of it on our Facebook group. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I will not be making another Bargello anytime soon because <laughs> they make me crazy. Sean, welcome back. Not sure if you were here the whole time or if you've been doing other things, but hello. Good morning. Good to see you again. Teresa was here earlier. I'm not sure if you saw her. I always get so starstruck when Sean and Teresa show up in my channel because they're just, they're superstars in my eyes. Absolutely superstars. Maya, um, are your blocks laying right? Uh-oh. Uh, yes, Maria, they are. Oh, no, they are not. Thank you for catching that. You are awesome. Perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Yep, you were correct. That one was not. See, this is what happens when we're not paying attention. This is why you guys are here. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Or Maya. I'm sorry, Maya, not Maria. Thank you, Maya. I really, really appreciate that. Good catch. Good catch. Susan, I'm using batiks and love the colors. Oh, I love batik fabrics. Absolutely love batik fabrics. Susan, if you can, post a picture in our uh, Facebook page. I'd love to see them. They're absolutely gorgeous. I just, I hate making them. <laughs> I absolutely love making them. Marie says, I haven't watched that video yet, but I don't think I'll be trying to make a Bargello anytime soon. You know, Marie, the concept is extremely easy. It, it's just strips, and you turn it, and you cut it, and you sew it up back together. It's super simple, you would think. Uh, but the whole shifting of pieces just, I, I, think, I, I think it's just me. I'm sure it's just me, but I struggle with that a lot. So, yeah, if you want to see some entertainment, 
you should absolutely go watch that video. Um, now I'm all paranoid that I did this wrong. No, it's right. This time it's right. Thank you for catching that, by the way. Um, oh, that could have been a disaster. Thank you for saving me. Yeah, I need to change out this blade. I'm going to do this today, I think. Because it is just not cutting. Come on. There we go. What? Taylor? Good morning, Taylor. Hello. I don't think you've ever been on one of my channels. Ladies and gentlemen, my daughter has officially made it to one of my channels. To one of my to one of my streams. Good morning. <laughs> Hello, dear. I hope you are well. I hope you're eating well. I hope you're healthy and happy. And you'll have to call me later and let me know how it goes. See, you just you distracted me, girl, because now I'm all discombobulated. Throwing things off. But good morning. Susan says, okay, I will have to join. <laughs> okay. Yes, Lucas. Yes. Yeah, make sure you tell Taylor that Luke yes. Marie, it like I said, the concept is not hard. It, it's really not hard to make. It's just the shifting of the pieces. And I think because I have such a small sewing space here, I really don't have anywhere to lay it out. So if you have a space where you can lay it out, I think that you will be worlds ahead of me. Um, because I, I couldn't lay it out, so I couldn't see it. I had to kind of do it as I was, you know, I had to lay it out as I was doing it. And it, it just became very, very stressful. But if you have a space that you can actually lay the whole thing out and see it, that is what is best. What is absolutely the best thing to do. Because they are beautiful quilts. They're, the, the technique itself is super easy to do. It's just straight stitching. There's a lot of seam. There's a lot of seam matching. There's a lot of that. Um, but the technique is super easy to do. Super, super easy. Wow, I can't believe one of my daughters has actually made it to one of my channel, my, my live streams. Wow. She must need something. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Ta Taylor, this is her room. So maybe she was just popping in to see how terribly I have, I have messed up her room. <laughs> That's probably why. That's probably why she's here. Yeah. Um, she is the one that we made the uh, yellow brick road quilt for. She brought that to school. She uses that as a lap quilt on her futon in her dorm room. So that is her quilt. And this is her room. My husband thinks it's so funny that I buy big pieces of fabric, then chop them up, chop them up into little pieces and sew them back together. <laughs> That's what a quilter does, Susan, right? You know, they just they just don't understand. My husband is the same way. He just he doesn't understand. But then I pull out this beautiful quilt with all these amazing pieces, and he goes, "Wow, you mean all those big pieces of fabric made that?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, it's amazing." <laughs> Taylor says it doesn't look too messy yet. No, that's because you only see this side of the camera, honey. Don't look over there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I do keep it pretty clean, actually. Um, I just don't tear it down. You know, when you're home, I put the machine back away. I put my, you know, my pressing mats and stuff back away. But when you're not home, I don't bother. No, it's it's not messy at all. Although I, I think I have taken over all of the bins because I, I may, I may have bought some more fabric. Oops. <laughs> Chloe reminding everybody to hit that thumbs button. Thank you, Chloe. Yes, if you don't mind, make sure you smash that like button over there. Give it a little tickle. It likes it. Oh, geez. I didn't even realize my iron had turned off. Still warm though, that's okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sean, I'm sorry I missed your comment before. Sean said you should get some jelly rolls and some charm packs and mess with the hubby. Oh, I already have. Yeah, I have, <laughs> I have a bunch of jelly rolls coming in. And my husband is like, why is everything named after dessert? <laughs> he goes, jelly rolls, honey buns, bunt cakes. <laughs> What is going on? He goes, layer cakes. What is going on? So, yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he finds it amusing that we, we all of our pre-cuts are named after after desserts. Because for a while there, he was getting really excited when I told him I bought jelly rolls. They weren't for eating. <laughs> he was very disappointed when the box came in. <laughs> Sean says, I won't buy any more fabric is the biggest lie we tell ourselves. <laughs> I have to agree with you, Sean. And I've been really good the last couple of years. I really haven't bought a lot. I don't have, I didn't have anywhere to put a stash of fabric. So I didn't really have a lot. I have a couple of, you know, plastic bins full of stuff, but I didn't really buy anything. But this year, this has been a bad year. And I think it's this problem. I think it's this thing's fault, honestly. <laughs> because now that I have this thing... I have a place to put stashed fabric. <laughs> so I think that's part of the problem. That is absolutely part of the problem. <laughs> Why not name it after dessert? Sounds good to me. Absolutely. I'm, of course, I'm waiting for the brownies and the cookies myself. But, you know, layer cakes, charm packs, you know, those things. Those are fun, too. Jelly roll. Honey buns. <laughs> what else is there? Bolly pops, Bolly pops, yeah. So much fun. Taylor says that would be my fault. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna make one more of these guys, and then we'll uh, we'll get the stream ended here because I don't want to go too late. Um, we'll get one more made up here. I don't know if you guys have been watching me do these. This time I'm making sure, though, that I'm going to put the fabric the correct direction. Thank you again. To, I already forgot who it was, but thank you again to whoever it was that had pointed it out to me. I really appreciate that. The 2.5 inch squares can be donut holes. I never even thought about that. You're absolutely right. They could totally be donut holes. I think we should start that. I really do. It's quick. Let's patent it. Let's go. Let's copyright it. <laughs> <sighs> yes, absolutely, Sandra. A finished project takes up more space than cut fabric. I agree. The cut fabric is in smaller pieces. I agree. 100%. I like it. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh-oh, somebody started a heist. Who the heck started a heist? I didn't even see it. Oh, no, you guys are were playing already. Okay. Congratulations, Sandra and Linda, for earning some more points. Congrats. I sewed something wrong twice yesterday on my live stream. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. Yeah, I've done that on videos, too. It's a thank, thank goodness for the editing button. I've done that before. Well, you guys are usually here to catch me before I have to pull Jack out. You know, he, you know, I'm Sean's best mate, Jack. Um, oh, somebody calls him the divorce lawyer. I don't remember who it is that does it, but I think that's absolutely hysterical. Because, you know, we sew things together, so we're marrying them together when we're sewing them. And then the divorce lawyer pulls up in there for me. I think that is so great. Um, I'm totally stealing that, by the way. I don't remember whose it is, but I totally steal it. I think it's hysterical. So Taylor, since she's still here, I'll, I'll, I'll share a really quick story with you guys. Um, the extra fabric, there's a ton of extra fabric from her quilt, from her uh, the daisy quilt she had. And she asked me if I could make her a throw pillow to go to match the quilt, to go on her um, futon in her dorm room. And I said, yeah, sure, absolutely. And I told her, well, you know, buy the pillow form, and then I'll make the I'll make the pillow. Well, she kept forgetting to buy the pillow form. 
And then she finally did buy the pillow form, and it sat on the counter for a couple of weeks because I had a couple of other projects I was working on, and I didn't really get a chance to make the pillow yet, or the pillowcase yet. So one day she sends me a text message while I'm at school. She must have been bored out of her mind. Sends me a text message while I'm at work, and she says, how hard do you think it would be for me to, me, for me to make this pillowcase? And I said, not hard at all. That's what YouTube is for. Watch a YouTube video, and you can figure out how to do it. So she did. She sends me a picture <clears throat> of her making the pillow form, the pillowcase. <coughs> she's got my machine up. She's got it all opened up and all. Oh boy! Wow! Almost another thread. Uh, she's got it all opened up and everything else. And she sends me and she says, "Look, Mom, I finished the pillow," which was awesome. I thought it was great that she finished the pillow. But the first words out of my mouth. Can you guys guess what they were? Can you guess? Can you guess? It was O M G. You used my machine. <laughs> that was the first words that came out of my mouth. <coughs> so funny. Uh, so, but yes, yeah, so she she made her own pillow. It looks beautiful. I don't think I put a channel a picture of it on her channel, but I, she could probably take a picture of it and set, put it on her Facebook channel if she wanted to. I've missed a couple of things here. 100 proof quilter. I have struggled with some more complicated sampler block. I've given up and have con conceded to the block being a little off. You know what, Chloe? That's why you just trim it. You know, you just trim the block and make it a little bit smaller and then it'll be fine. <laughs> and you know what? The imperfections in every quilt are what make them perfect. So that, I'm a firm believer in that. Um, in fact, I've gotten to a point now where um, the, the ladies at my work, whenever I bring in a new quilt that I finish to show off to them, they now look at me and they go, don't, do not tell me where the mistakes are because I don't want to know. Because <laughs> I usually am pointing them all out. I'm like, oh, I did this wrong. I did that wrong. They're like, I, I, I'll, I'll bet you I don't see them. And, and that's the truth is they, most people are not going to notice them. It's just us, the ones that make it, that notice it. Because we're hard on ourselves. I think it's Brandy from the Hunter Proof Quilter that calls it the divorce layer. I don't know who it is, but this is hysterical. Absolutely hysterical. And so true. So, so true. So true. Yes, good for Taylor. She she has taken sewing classes. Um, sewing was never, she wasn't as big into it as her sister T Tony was. But she does know how. Um, and, and she, I think she actually really enjoyed making that pillowcase for herself. Because she was so proud of it. And she did an amazing job. She really did an amazing job. Um, unfortunately, she didn't make it so she could actually pull the, she just sewed, she encased the, um, she made an, a pillow encasement as opposed to a pillowcase. Um, basically, she sewed all four sides up, so now she has to throw the whole thing in the washing machine as opposed to just being able to pull the top off. But you know what? That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. She said, you know what, Mom? That's the video I watched. <laughs> like, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I think she did a great job, and she really she seemed to have enjoyed herself, and she was really proud of herself for what she did, and I thought it was amazing. She did an amazing job, and it looks... And I can't wait to see. She has not yet shown me what her dorm room looks like because it's the whole thing that they're going to show everybody for breakfast next week. Um, so I haven't seen what her dorm room looks like, but I'm sure I'm sure that the blanket and the pillow look amazing on her on her futon. I'm sure. All right, that is this block. <laughs> see, yep, that's what Taylor said. That's what the video said to do. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we're going to end this stream here. It is 12.35. I try not to go too late so then that way you guys can kind of finish up your chores and stuff before you would see Teresa later on this afternoon. Uh, and I know that's what I do. I, I usually take a break, I eat something, I do a couple of chores and then I sit down in front, back in front of my beautiful machine and uh, I watch what Teresa does. Which, by the way guys, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Here, let me show you. I didn't even notice, unbeknownst to me, we were actually racing. We were playing the thread the thread game here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, I'll look. I can, I can, I can, I can. 
scissors. Here. <laughs> we were playing a game here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There. I have like three threads left on this on this roll here. I didn't even realize that we were playing the game, but we were playing the game. And I'm going to take that as a win. I know we're not done with the project yet, but I'm taking it as a win anyway because we were able to finish the pieces we wanted to. All right, guys, I'm going to take off here. You guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to check out Teresa this afternoon. She said 1 p.m. Pacific, so make sure you head over there. And then Tiffany will be on later today. Don't forget, Sean is doing a special live tomorrow. Sean, I'm sorry, I forgot what time that special was. So make sure you go over to his channel and check out to see what time that was. Um, I know I will be there, hopefully, if it's not too early. Um, I will be there. If not, I will definitely catch it afterwards. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Amazing. I think the last time I looked, there was like 22 or 23 people in chat, which is just amazing. Huge Thank you to everybody. Um, thanks for sticking with me through all the audio issues. I promise we will get these figured out someday. Someday, maybe. It looks like I had a new subscriber that came into the channel while we were here. I'm sorry, Deborah, that I missed that. I hope you're still here. Um, normally, I have an earpiece in the, so I can hear the noises of the pop-ups. So I'm so sorry that I missed that. But thank you. Welcome to the channel. 160 subscribers already guys we only got like what 40 more to go before our next giveaway super excited all right guys i will talk to you again soon taylor thank you for joining me today i was so grateful that you're here i hope you can make it again next week too lucas as always you are amazing thank you so much and and you know if your new job takes you away from us that's okay we understand it's okay all right guys i'm gonna go i'll talk to you guys soon uh first i gotta find a mouse here it is <laughs> don't forget to leave a thumbs up on your way out if you haven't already and i will see you guys again next week bye